we've just been rehearsing because we've got Britain's Got Talent next week. So we've just been rehearsing, running the tricks, making sure everything's right because it's the last rehearsal before Britain's Got Talent next week. And they've done really well today. It's not the first time that you're going to be rehearsing for Britain's Got Talent. This will be your third time. Yeah. Are you confident that you can get through to the live shows? I am this time. The last couple of times that we've done it, we've got through the first two stages of the producers, but we've never got through to the live shows. So ch change things up made the team a little bit bigger, age range is different and different different amount of tricks and better stuff so hopefully it'll uh, get us through and get us where we want to be. So is that your ultimate objective to get through to the live shows and then progress and maybe even win it? Yeah definitely, I mean these kids, some of these kids have not done it before but some of the kids have been in the team for like four or five years so they know what it's about, they know what they've got to do and they, they are a really good group of kids and they, they do just want to do well. Um, and I want them to do well really because they work really hard. So tell us a bit about your background then. When did you start dancing and how did you initially uh, open the academy? Yeah, so I started dancing when I was two years old. I did training in tap, ballet and modern. Um, and then from school, I went to dance college, Bolton Dance College, did my training there. Then I left college and then I just went and worked at different companies, colleges, schools and stuff, different dance schools as well and then eventually I thought I can do it myself so in April 2011 I just thought right I'm going to set up my own company, I just went and rented a room, um, put, did some leaflets myself, went and studied in the centre of Ashton and I started with 11 kids and now I've got 140 kids seven years later so doing really well at the minute. And I noticed there's quite a few boys as well, which surprised yeah. me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, is it quite common for lads to get involved in this kind of stuff? It's street dance and break dance. I mean, we go to all the big competitions, so you see, you see more lads than girls, really, right. because it's more like they like to do the tricks and the flips and stuff like that. I have a lot of people that come and join every week, and they say, oh, we, we didn't think there'd be a lot of boys. Like, some people ring me and ask me to inquire in and stuff like that, and I say, we have, actually, I've got more boys over the school than we have girls. So it's a good interest for boys as well, not just girls. Brilliant stuff. And next year, you're also planning on going to the European Championships in Barcelona, but yeah. you need to raise £5,000. Yeah. Uh, how are you going to go about doing that? Um, so we set a Just Giving page up. So we've got nearly £300 in that already. We've got two backpacks set up for Morrison's in February. We've got a race night in February. Um, and then we're just looking for local companies, really, to get on board and sponsor us. Um, just to get us there because like I say it costs a lot of money to get them there and just for them to enter the competition is £60 per dancer on their own so we're just looking for companies or anyone that's willing to donate to us is a Just Giving page on Facebook um, and we're doing some raffles and a few other things that we can just get the money together really. And during your time over there, will you be doing any sightseeing and stuff like that? Yes, yeah, so we're going to be over there for three to four days. So we're going to do a bit of sightseeing and then the weekend it, it consists of the team competition and then they can do solos and duels as well um, and also we get to do workshops with all the big choreographers from London as well so for them just to do that on its own is a massive achievement because not a lot of people get to do that um, so yeah we're just looking for everyone just to get on board and just help us out really. So if any businesses do want to come on board and donate to the course how can they get in touch with yourself? They can get in touch with me over Facebook, Blaze Street Dance Academy, um, my website, my telephone number's on there, or my email's on there, um, or they can come down to, down to the studio as well. Um, we have actually got um, a sponsorship package ready, so if there's any companies out there that wanted to sponsor us, we've got a package that shows you what the sponsorship would include and what you'd get for it. Um, so yeah, if there's anyone that wants to, is willing and interested, then yeah, just contact me.